Well, hello. Welcome to today's video. So today we're going to start to cover Cloud Plus, uh, the new version that just came out in 2024, um, with a minor AWS twist. Since I've been certified in AWS before, it has expired. So this is kind of getting started with Cloud Plus, and we're going to talk a little bit about alternatives. Let's get into it. So first of all, why are we doing this? Once again, there's a new version of the test out, so we need to touch on it again. And it's one of my favorite, one of my most famous playlists on my channel. So um, it just makes sense to update it. Um, there's a need on YouTube. So with the new exam objectives and uh, stuff, just got to do a new one and align with it. So CompTIA Cloud Plus, uh, the main page, and I'll, I'll include all these links down below. Um, if we come here, we can see it's the essential skills to implement, maintain, optimize, troubleshoot cloud-based infrastructure services. Uh, we also, once again, this is on the slide, uh, we can link out to the Partners uh, Cloud Plus Certification Guide. So this is what we're going to use to plan our study. Today, we're talking a little bit about the redo, but we're going to hit on this section right here. How does CompTIA Plus, Cloud Plus compare to alternatives? as well as we're just going to mention this one okay so those two um and then we'll start to chug through this now most of them uh, most of the time is going to be in this area on the playlist um this first one's kind of the introduction so if you notice this was released july 16th 2024 so it is new it has a CE requirement and it's in English. Coming back. So uh, how is it similar to AWS? So I don't I don't really like what they list in their guide. I think it's a little more similar to AWS Cloud Practitioner. Uh, AWS Cloud Practitioner, if we look here, it's foundational. I think Cloud Plus is more foundational. Um, you're not expected to have much experience. So if we look at the Cloud Plus, in fact, so once again, all these links down below, um, it down below in the video too. Um, so the Cloud Practitioner Exam Guide, I'm not going to um, drastically um, throw a bunch of AWS in there, but I'm gonna put it in where it makes sense. Um, so, especially since it is still the largest uh, cloud computing platform out there. Uh, Microsoft is catching up, okay? So, uh, but yeah, AWS Cloud Practitioner. Uh, there are some sample question sets that you can enroll for um, so that you can go through their, uh, their published uh, sample questions. Okay, so that's Cloud Practitioner. You also have AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate, which is probably just slightly above Cloud Plus. Um, so if we look here, that would be this one. Um, this is the category at the associate level. It also has its own exam guide and sample questions. Now, uh, this is the old sample questions because um, I have that from my old video. I believe they also have, uh, you can get it through this same Skills Builder. Skills Builder should have uh, the newer ones. So, um, but I'll leave the old link in here as well. So there are other certifications that are similar. So if we look back at this Cloud Plus certification guide, they mentioned that they are intermediate, intermediate beginner, foundational, all similar. Um, ISC squared cloud security professional um, is listed as intermediate well to advanced. Uh, AWS solutions architect, it says professional here. So if we come here to AWS um, and we want certification roadmaps, I don't know. Um, journey let's look at this so if you look here solutions architect so there is 
I don't think, yeah, this is, this is going to be hard for you to see. I'll, I'll link to this down below, but I don't actually think there is the one that they're talking about. Oh, Solutions Architect Professional. So it's one more above. Um, so they, I don't know why they didn't link to the others that are <laughs> more comparable to what they are. So AWS Cloud Practitioner, as of recording this video, is $100. There are ways to get discounts on it. Um, uh, my students, uh, where I'm, uh, we were able to get them a discount. Um, say with the, the next one that I, I showed, the um, Solutions Architect Associate is $150. Once again, there are ways to find discounts. Uh, Cloud Plus is, I'm trying to remember how much it is. It, it's more than that. <laughs> uh, it's, it's more. Um, ISC Squared is more as well. Um, and Microsoft, I don't remember how much it is. So, but we're going to focus kind of on the Amazon that are similar. Uh, this says it's intermediate. I'm going to list it more as foundational. Um, and this one, they're referring to the professional. So that would be probably a, a little higher up. Okay. So it does say that you should have about five years total in IT experience, including two to three years of networking systems administration experience for Cloud Plus. Um, they do not require an experience. I don't know. So some of ISC squared require you to show proof of evidence. Um, okay. So what we've covered so far, just the general information on Cloud Plus, uh, this new playlist, we should have videos pumping out every day on this for the next while. Um, I also need to throw in some other videos that are going to be supporting my classes this semester. So, um, but those will be in a different playlist. So you can focus on this one. I might pump out more than, than one video a day, but I usually record them and release them in the future. But I might want to get these out faster. Uh, anyway, uh, Cloud Plus, let's go on this journey. See you in the next video.